please note, most responses are heard upon review and not in real time. Changes in the video's filter visually mark the replies that were the most significant. Those various audio responses have been enhanced, repeated, and sometimes slowed down. As always, we do not offer this video as irrefutable evidence of the paranormal, nor do we claim our annotations are 100% conclusive. All we're asking is that you please approach the data presented here with a curious mind, and that you wear damn headphones. The following ghost box session, we conducted the double blind ghost box experiment. The Double Blind Ghost Box was developed by paranormal researchers Daniel Morgan and Sean Taylor in an effort to find an approach to give Ghost Box responses more concrete credibility. They co-authored a book called The Double Blind Ghost Box, Scientific Methods, Examples, and Transcripts. The Double Blind Ghost Box is overall a much better experiment than the recently popularized Estes Method. Not only does the double-blind ghost box predate the Estes method, but by the fact that it encourages the users to record the audio of the ghost box as a point of reference for reviewing the session. It rules out false positives and leaves less room for trickery from the implementers. Whereas the Estes method focuses more on psychically induced responses from a trance-like state versus responses that can be documented as true data. Not to say the Estes method is total bunk, but I regard it more like a channeling technique versus doing verifiable ITC research. So basically what you're going to see here is the ghost box audio is only heard by the person with the headphones on. The listener is the only receiver of the messages. The listener's mind is not influenced by the biased questioning of the person leading the experiment or any outside noise and the blindfold is used to prevent visual stimulation. So as questions are asked, the listener will say anything that can be heard as a possible reply through the ghost box. And hopefully these responses will be relevant to the location, the haunting, or wherever. This video is presented with the ghost box audio for you to hear, with the messages noted that the listener may or may not have heard at the time. Many versions of a ghost box will work for this technique, including the SB7, the S-Box Spirit Box, and even a hacked radio. My box of choice for this session was the Intercom Box by my friend Jay Prather. I ran a cord from the pre-effects output and then put a splitter on that line and ran one line to my headphones and then another to the recorder. Then all I had to do was turn the volume all the way down on the box, hit record on the recorder, and it was good to go. And for more information on the Intercom Box, please visit Jay's website at idcdevices.com. Can you hear us? Matthew is a pecker head. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Would you like to communicate with us? To start this off right, could you tell us your name? I'm Mike, and this is Lindsay beside me. What is your name? What is the name of the lady that lives here? What town are we in? Did you pass away in this town?
what do you want us to do? Promise you. Who do you want to talk with? Take care. Can we help you? Old man. One heart. Mike. What does Mike do? Lindsay. Game over. Goodbye. Okay. Would you like for us to let you go now? Tell us goodbye again. Leave. We can take a hint. With you. With, With you. Well, tell Matthew goodbye. Couldn't figure out how to stop it without touching it. Here. Will you talk with us? Can we be friends? When did you pass away? Are you looking for your mother? Every day. What was your mother's name? Ed. Let me ask you again, what was your mother's name? It can, it can take a while. Protected by her. Protected. Do you realize you have passed? 